Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Lisa Bug Backyard Boot Camp here in October in Minnesota. And we are going to get the heart rate up with some cardio calisthenics and with strength training for upper and lower body. We've got a lot of core work today, too, to really strengthen the midsection. And we always finish with some flexibility work and a little bit of balance thrown in there as well. Also, uh, the last week and this week, I'm working on something called SAQ training, which is speed, agility, and quickness. So we are going to work on a little bit of starting and stopping with our cardio exercises to work on agility and quickness of movement. So obviously, you are doing what feels best for you today, um, taking modifications as you need. But I'm excited to get started, so I'll get our music rolling. We'll warm up to begin. All right. Let's start with a little march in place. Right and left. Right. 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 And with that march, roll the shoulders up and back. Nice and easy to start. Four more. Three. Two. Reverse your shoulder roll in the other direction. Just getting those shoulders ready for our workout, for our weight training. Three, two, and one. Breathe in. Inhale up. Exhale down. Breathe in. Up and down. Two more. One more time, up and down, squat to the right, out and left, out, out, good, arms open, out, cross, out, cross, we've got eight more, seven, six, nice job, four more. Three, two, change the arms, open, cross above the head, out, cross up, nice job, warming up those legs and arms, now one of each, cross it down, cross it up, oh, I'm working your brain, <laughs> Cross in front, cross up. Cross in front, cross up. We've got four more. And up. Three. Two. One more. Back to your march in place. March it out. Good job. Starting to feel that heart rate picking up a little bit. Now we're going to march it out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Add an event. Down, down, up, up. Oh, I'm starting to get warm already. I think it's about 39 degrees. Now can you add the arms? It's the same thing. Out, out, in, in. This is warming up our rotator cuff a little bit. Little jazz hands for my dancers. Give me eight more. Down and up. Seven. Six. Good job. Four. Three. Two. Back to your march in place. Right. Right. Four. Three. Tap your toes to the front. Tap. 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 Now with the hands, press back. Push. 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 Good job. Cross the toe in front. Cross. Nice job, everybody. Make that toe tap a heel. 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 Keep it going. Now bend your elbows. Push back here. Nice job. Four more each side. Four. 
three, two, hold your right heel in front, hold, tap your toe up and down, standing leg is slightly bent, this left knee, tap it, tap it, work in that shin muscle, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, now tap it side to side, out, 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 good job, we're warming up through that hip, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, hold the toe up, right in the center, take a little stretch forward, just reach out toward that toe, nice and easy, and then come up, take your back foot back a little farther, push your heel down, stretch your calf muscle in the back. Not too deep, just nice and easy. Good posture. Excellent, step your back foot back in, switch legs, we're tapping up and down, up and down. Good job, this is kind of a weak muscle in the shin, so really keep it pumping up. We'll start to feel that fatigue. Just a few more. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Oh, I'm feeling it. Now get ready to tap it side to side. Out, in, out, in. This is coming right from your hip, not just from your foot. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, back to the center, toe comes up, and we stretch forward. We're lengthening the back of that front leg. Excellent, coming up, shift your weight forward, push your back heel back a little further, stretch your calf. So we're gonna start to move into a little bit of cardio training first and our SAQ training, our speed, agility, and quickness. Back to your march. Right foot, right foot, right foot. Now really try to pump your arms and pick up those knees. So we did this movement in the warm up. So it's gonna feel pretty comfortable to you. We go out, out, in, in. Now this music tempo is pretty good for this, but if you wanna go a little slower, a little quicker, you're at your own pace today. Now take it lower with the legs, out and up, out and up. This is your level one if you do not want to jump. Level two, out, out together, out, out together. Jumping your feet together. Good job, so you've got your choice, whichever one you wanna to do today. 10 more, nine, eight, together. Seven, six, five. Excellent, four more, three, two, and one, back to your march in place. Good job. Now we are going to make an A shape. I'll start it slow. I'm going up, side, up, side. So I'm stepping forward to the side, forward to the side. So I'm making an A. Each time I switch legs, right foot, left foot. This is your level one. Level two, you're gonna jump to the A, jump back. Jump forward, jump back. It's a little hot. So you're changing direction quickly. We've got eight, seven. You can make it a small hop. Five, four, yes, three, two, last one, marching place. Right foot, nice job. Let that heart rate come down a little bit. And we're gonna reverse everything to the other side. Four, 
three small squats in place. Down, up, down, up. Good job. Now you have to erase your brain so we can reverse. Let's march left foot first. Left, left, left. Pump those arms. We're leading on that left side now. Good job. Four, three, march out, out, in, in. Each time going left, left, left. Down and up with those legs. Good job. This is your level one movement. Level two, jump your feet together. Out, out, jump. Out, out, jump. Good job, you can do a few of each. We've got eight more. Eight, seven, six, speed, agility, and quickness. Four, three, two, left foot march. Left, left. Good, pump those arms. Now we're gonna get ready for that A step position. Your left foot starts, you go to the A and back. So you go left, right, left and right. You're stepping forward and side and back. Good. Level one, you're just walking through it. Level two, we're gonna add a little hop. Hop. Hop, 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 left, left, right, right, left, left, right. Eight more. You can keep it low or add that hop. Good. Six more. And five. Hop. We've got four. Speed, agility, and quickness. Three. Good, you guys. Two more. Stay with me one more time. Left foot march. Left. Good job. Woo. So that's our speed, agility, quickness drills. You've got four more. Three. Two. Back into those little mini squats right in place. Down. Up. Down, up. Now I've got two sets of hand weights today. If you have two pairs of different sizes, I want you to grab your heavier ones now. Heavier weights. All right. Woo. So we're gonna do some bent over rows. It's gonna work the upper back. Knees are soft. Hinge from your hips and we pull back back. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Nice job. Palms are facing in. Parallel hands. Now alternate right, left. Pull. Pull. Stabilize with a nice strong core. Neutral spine. Make sure you've got that bend in your knees. Keep alternating at a twist. Turn. Turn, turn, working that upper back, Woo. your core, your obliques, we've got eight more, here's one, two, three, four, four more, pull, three, two, back to both arms rowing together, squeeze, Squeeze. Good endurance for these muscle groups. Last four to go. Three, two, and one, and come up. Good. Roll those shoulders. Stand in a split stance position. Right foot in front. Left toe taps behind you. Bring the weights right to the shoulders. We've got overhead presses. Up. Up. Good. 
Now, if these weights are too heavy for this one, you can go down in workload. Alternating arms, right, left. If you want to balance, pick up that back foot right up off the floor. Good job. Woo. Breathe, exhale, push it up. Eight, seven, six, nice. Upper body strength, three, two, both arms together, last set, one, two, three, looking good, exhale, four, three, two, one, and rest, bring those hands down, roll your shoulders, good job, switch your feet, split stance position, left foot in front, tap your right toe to the back, Weights are in front, upright row, both arms, up, up, good job, Woo. nice tall spine, now you know where we're going if you want to add that balance challenge, alternate arms right and left, one, two, not too high with those elbows, your wrists are lower than your elbows, Woo. Eight more on your single count. Eight, seven, six. Still working balance and core control. Four, three, two. Both arms. Pick it up. Eight, seven, six. Feeling those shoulders. Nice job. Four, three. Two, and one, rest. Nice job, wide position with your legs. Nice wide squats. Your weights are down in front of you, palms are up. Drop down, and up, down. Both arms, bicep curls. Curl it up, curl it up. Good job. You can do hammer curls as well with your weights parallel. Alternating arms, right side, up, left. Looking good, guys. Keep it coming. Exhale to the top. Give me eight more on your singles. Eight. Deep into those legs. Breathing, four, three, two, both arms together, last set, eight, Woo. nice job, we're almost there, four, I'm feeling it, three, two, and one, and rest, set those weights down. First drink break, grab a quick drink, a little sip of water. All right, we're gonna give those arms a break, going back into cardio, getting the heart rate back up. I remembered my Kleenex this time, so I have a sniffly nose out here. Okay, make sure you've got room from room to side to side. We're going to run to the right, stop, reach down toward the ground. Turn around, run to the left, stop, reach to the ground. Now your opposite foot is in front from the hand you reach. Opposite foot. Let's go. Let's go. Move, move, move. Reach. You don't have to come all the way down to touch the ground. If you've got more room at home, more runs, and you're changing quickly directions, pushing off that front foot, push, push. Good job. Stay with me just a few more. Bend that front knee deep, push off. Two more each side. 
One more each side. Back to the center. Imagine you have a jump rope. Start spinning your hands. Jump, jump, jump. So I'm switching one foot to the other, picking up my heels. You can do this at any pace you want. If you don't want to jump or hop, you're marching your jump rope. Good job. Now we're going to try a double jump on that jump rope. Double jump. Again, if you don't want to jump, stay with your marching. Nice job, nice job. Now this comes from right into your wrist, into your forearm. I'm not moving my whole arm around. So keep your elbows tucked in. Next one, double hop, double hop. You can also step touch. Double hop, double hop. Now stay with these and reverse your jump rope. Go backwards. Nice job, everybody. Back to the single jump. Going backwards with the hands. Or marching in place. Good job. Back to the double jump, jump, jump. Work those calves. You can also march. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest, march it out. Now, if you have a heart rate monitor on your watch, take a peek at it. You can also feel your pulse. If you've got a clock, you can time yourself maybe 10 seconds. Rating of perceived exertion. How do you feel on a scale of one to 10? You should be up there at least a six, seven, maybe an eight, heart rate's up. Okay, one heavy weight, one heavy. We're gonna put this weight in our left hand. Take the feet into a little bit of a lunge. Right knees bent. Reach that arm across, pull up. Cross, pull up. Good job. Nice. Now I want you to have the option to stay with this or as you pull up, step your foot in. Lunge, push. Lunge, push. A little bit more leg work on this. A little bit more dynamic. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Woo! Three. Two. And one. Rest. Same foot in front in a lunge position. Back heel lifted. Down, up. Down, up. Good. Now the arm with this comes to the shoulder, presses above the head. Down, shoulder. Up, shoulder. Down, shoulder. Up, shoulder. You can take the lunge out of it and just do the arm. Or vice versa, take the arm out of it and just do the lunge. Four more guys. Up and down. Three more. Up. Two more. Up. Last one. Up and break. Good job. Switch the weight to your opposite hand. Come into your lunge here. Reach across. Pull that elbow up. Reach. Pull it up. So I'm rotating my spine a little bit, working those obliques. You can keep it here or push off. Reach, 
push. Using that left quad, push away. Using the left glute. Six. Five. Four. A little bit of balance in this. Three. Two. And one. Come back to center. Come into that lunge. Down, up. Down, up. Option with the arms. Down to shoulder. Up to shoulder. Down. Shoulder, up, shoulder. Good job. Woo. Now remember, you can take the leg work out of it and just do the arm. Down, shoulder, up, shoulder. Four more, everyone. Lower and lift. Three, lift. Two, up, one more. And up and rest. All right. Set that weight down. We're transitioning down onto the mat. We have push ups. If you want to go to the wall or put your hands on a chair, you can do that as well. So let's come on down. The price is right. Okay, we've got several push ups, different uh, speeds of movement. Take your hands nice and wide. Two counts down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Four, up, three, up, two, up, one more. Stretch back, a little child's pose. Short break. All right, next rhythm is three counts to the bottom, one count to come back up to the top. In position, here we go. Three, two, one, push up. Three, two, one, push up. Three, two, one, push up. Good, nice and strong. Four more. Push up. Three, two, one more time. Three, two, one, and rest. Stretch. All right. Next set, we're going to reverse that count. So it's one count to the bottom, three counts slowly coming back to the top. Let's get ready. One count down. Drop. Up. Up. Up, drop, up, up, up. Any position that works for you, you could be doing these at the wall. We've got four more. Drop, up, 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 in three, up, 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 in two, Ooh, one more. Down, up, up, and rest. Take a child's pose stretch. Good job, guys. Okay, we only have one more set. It's single time repetitions. I'm getting warm out here. 15 push ups, one five. All right, get in your position. Woo. Let's do all these together. Get ready. In four, three, two, begin. One, two, come on, three, four, five, you've got ten more, ten, nine, eight, exhale, seven, six, five, almost there, Woo. one more, one more, and stretch back. Woo. Good work, everybody. Back on your feet, light weight. 
So I've got fives here. Feet about hips distance apart or maybe a little wider. We're going to squat. Down, up, down, up. Good job. Alternating front arm raise. We go down, lift forward, down, lift forward. Just right at shoulder level. Doesn't have to be way up here. Just going to keep it right at the shoulder. Good job, good job. Eight, seven, six. If your weights are too heavy, you can do a bicep curl or no weight, just your arms. Now, just the squats. Down, up, down, up. Good. Just resting those shoulders for a moment. Next exercise is a side arm lateral raise. So we go down, other side. Good job. Legs and arms working. If this is too heavy, do an upright row. This is okay. The shoulder is doing the same thing. Four, three, two, take a break. All right, put your thinking cap on. One arm is gonna be doing the front raise while the other arm simultaneously is doing the side raise. We'll put it with our squats, just the squats to start. Down, up, down, up. So the first time we do it, the right arm goes forward, the left arm goes side at the same time. Get ready, one more. Let's begin. Up, other side, up, down, up, down, up. Now if you wanna take the legs out, just work the arms. This is good. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Woo. Three. Two. And one. And rest. Nice job. Shake those legs out a little bit. Bring the weights right to your chest. We're going to squat, lift a leg, same side, same side. Up, work that outer thigh, a little bit of balance. Now only if you want to, add the weights above the head. If your arms are tired, just focus on those legs. Eight, seven, six, Nice job, four more this side, then we're going right into the other direction. Two, one, and switch. Down, lift. Good, keep that chest up on the squats. Try not to bend way over. Option to add your arms anytime you want. Woo! Lift, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, short break, short break, rest. Okay, we work agility when we alternate sides. So one lifting the left leg, one lifting the right leg. In position, ready, let's go. Down, up, down, up, Option to add your arms anytime you want. Stay with me nice and strong. Eight more. One, two, looking good. Just four more, we have a water break coming up. Three, two, one, and rest. Weights down. Take a little quick drink. Nice job, let that heart rate come back down. Okay, we have a one minute plank. 
front plank. You choose how you want to do that plank today. I'm going to get my timer ready so I can time you very easily. So come down into your plank position. So you can be from the toes, from the knees, from the hands, from the elbows. Get ready. Three, two, one, and begin. Hold, hold. Good job, good job. I want you to focus on your breathing. Focus on your shoulders being stable. On your core connection. If you're up on your toes, tighten your thigh muscles. Really straighten your legs. If you're on your knees, try not to sag your butt down. Keep picking it up. You're halfway, 30 seconds to go. Breathe, breathe. Woo. If you need to take a break, that's okay. You can come down and then pop back up when it feels better. We're at 15 seconds to go. Check your form, check your head position. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Get a little stretch there. Okay, we're going to do a moving side plank for one minute. I'm going to put a little padding under my knee because I'm out here on the concrete with my sticky mat. So we are in a side plank position here on one knee. Other hand lightly touches the floor. You're working this side of your core. Get ready. Pull up and back down to your plank. Pull up. Now you can reach this top arm way over and get a little stretch here. In yoga, this is called the gate pose. So we're working the side waist, the back muscles. Now we're getting some flexibility, some stretching. We are halfway, 30 seconds to go. Good job, good job. Pick it up. Excellent. Now, if it's bothering your back to come up and down, you can just hold your side plank right here. This is okay as well. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Excellent. Now, I want you to stretch right here. So bring your hands down to the floor or to a block. Stretch your inner thigh and your hamstring a little bit. If you're pretty flexible, you can come all the way down here like a child's pose. Good job, breathe. Okay, take a few seconds to come to the other side. Extending the leg out. We'll start straight up in four, three, two, side plank, over. Pull it up. Now you are going at your own pace. You've got a whole minute. So you can hang out in the stretch a little longer if you like to. Hang out in that side plank a little longer. So speed is at your own discretion. Woo. Breathing, breathing. We have 30 seconds to go. Stretch. Pull it up. Ah, this feels wonderful this morning. Excellent. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Finishing here. Bring your hands down. Take a stretch. Relaxing the inner thigh, the hamstrings, the low back. Breathe. Woo. All right, walk yourself up. Have a seat right on your mat. We're going to lean back a little bit. 
reach the arms forward. Right leg goes up, left leg up, right foot down, left foot down. Right leg up, left up, right down, left down. Now, if you can't balance, go right, left, that's okay. Right, left, or right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Four more. Down. Three. Down. Two. Down. One more. Up, up, down, and rest. Open your knees out. Take a little butterfly. You've got to start with the other leg leading first. So next set, the left leg will go first. All right, let's lean back, reach your arms forward, tighten up your abdominals. Left leg goes up, right leg up, left foot down, right foot down. Option is left, right. Choose the one you like. We can go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, or left, right. Four more, up, down, three. Looking good, guys, two more. One more, up, up, down, and rest. Take your butterfly stretch. Relax your lower back. Okay, we are going to do a plank bridge. So hands come behind you, feet are down. So your fingers can turn out just a little bit. You're gonna lift the hips up off the floor into bridge and down. Lift up into bridge and down. Now, if this bothers your shoulders, I want you to lay all the way onto your back and just do the hip lift laying flat on your mat. One more time, lift up and down. Take a little pause for your wrist, shake them out. Bring your feet closer together so they're touching all the way in. Hands behind you. Right foot off the floor, come up into your bridge. Ready and go, up and down, up and down. You can do the same thing flat on your back, regular bridge. Lift up and down, three, down, two, one more, up, down, take a break for your wrist, shake them out. Okay, we only have one more side to do. Hands behind you, open up through your chest, take your left foot off the floor, and ready to bridge. Here we go, lift, up, and down, up. So you're pushing really hard down into that foot to lift the glute and the hips up. Four more. You'll feel the stretch in your shoulders as well. The work in your triceps. Two. One more. Up. Down. Take a break. Shake out your arms. Okay, we're going to do triceps two ways. You can grab your weights and do overhead extensions, option one. Option two, since we're in this position for bridge, we're gonna lift the hips up, keep them off the floor, bend the elbows down, up, down. So take your choice. Good, tricep extensions or tricep dips. Now at home, you can sit on a chair and pick your seat up off the chair and do your dips right down off the chair. Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, I feel the burn, two, and one, and rest. All right, we're going south, down onto our backs. We've got a variety of crunches for the abdominals. In between, we have stretches, so you might want to have your yoga strap if you need to have that with you for your stretching. All right, let's roll all the way down onto your back. Feet are flat or knees in tabletop. Fingertips next to the temple to support the head slightly. We're crunching up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Exhale coming up. Inhale to lower. We've got four more. And down. Three. If your neck gets tired, relax it completely to the floor before each rep. One more. Relax. Right hand. Set it out to the side of you on the floor. Bring your right knee up to tabletop. Lift the left shoulder blade up, turn, center, down. Up, turn, center, down. Lift and lower. Up. Four more, working those obliques. Woo, three. Last two. One more, up, rotate, and rest. Take this ankle, bring it across your thigh. Pull your knees right up to your chest. Take a figure four stretch, relax. And breathe. Now I'm starting to hear a little bit of crackling. You just let me know if it's too much and I'll shut this microphone off. Okay, let's lower down. The left arm comes out to the side. The left leg is up in table. The right hand supports at the temple or right behind your head slightly. Lift up and twist. Up, turn, center, down. Up, turn, center, down. Up, rotate. Try not to pull on your head at all. Relax your neck. Four, down, and three, and two, one more, cross the ankle over your thigh, bring your knees up, stretch, a nice little glute release, take a couple deep breaths, inhale, exhale, all right, set your feet back down. We're going to bring the right knee into the chest, crunch up, set it down. Left knee into the chest, crunch up, set it down. Either right leg bent or right leg straight. Pull it in, set it down. Good job, crunch up and down. Now you can also support your head. Here. This is option one, bent knees or straight legs. Option two, keep your head and shoulders up off the floor. Bicycles, right, left, right, left. Or scissors, right, left, right, left. Head can also stay down on your mat. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, woo, three, two, last one. Bring your knees into your chest, rest. Stretch out your lower back a little bit, rock side to side. Release any tension in the lumbar spine. All right, let's come back up to a standing position, everyone. We're going to stretch out from a stand. 
first stretch is for your calf muscles. I want you to stand into a lunge. Align your foot straight ahead. Push your heel down into the floor. If you want to go deeper with this, you can come down with your hands and do a down dog. and Push that heel down into the floor. Either one, absolutely fine. Just get a really good calf stretch here. Woo. All right, let's switch legs. So back leg steps forward. Other foot goes back. Foot is parallel. Press that heel down. Stretch. Or put your hands down. Come into a downward facing dog. Stretch that heel down to the mat. And breathe. Nice shoulder position, abs tucked in. All right, come back to center. Straddle your legs, point your toes forward. Take a nice big breath in. Hands at your hips, fold forward. Get a stretch down the back of the legs. Now at home, you can put your hands on a chair. If you're really tight in your hamstrings, go ahead and put your hands down. If you're a little bit more loose in the backs of the legs, you can go down to a block or all the way down to the ground. Stretch. Say hello to the neighbor's dog. That's Georgia. A few more breaths here in our straddle stretch. And then put your hands back on your hips. Rise all the way up. Step your feet back together. Cross the right foot behind the left. Right arm stretches. Ah, oh, reach. Now you can also stretch your tricep here by bending your elbow back behind you and give that elbow a little pull over. Oh, that feels incredible. Ooh. I think if the wind stays away today, I'm going to be able to use the pool. I still have it set at about 89 degrees. It's a little bit of steam floating off the water today. We'll be hopeful we can use it again. All right, let's switch feet. Cross the left ankle behind the right. Stretch it over. Nice. Yeah, the wind makes all the difference in the world, especially once you get out of the water. All right, we can bend that elbow. Give it a pull. I hope you guys all had a fantastic workout today. I always love presenting for you. It is so much fun for me. All right, step your feet back together. We're going to do three forward folds. Inhale, reach up. Little baby back bend. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, dive back down. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Last breath, come on up, reach. Stretch and bring your palms right down into the heart center. Open your arms out into bull post arms. Pull your shoulder blades back. Lift your heart. Oh, one more little stretch right across the front of the chest, the front of the shoulders. One more breath. And release it down. Great job, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I'll shut our recording off. I'll run inside and say hello to those of you that have a minute to spend with me. Thank you so much. I so appreciate your support with my programs today. Thank you, everybody.